What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today I wanted to share with you this quick and easy product research method that I've been using recently. I posted just a quick snippet of it on my Instagram and it got quite a lot of attention. A lot of people messaged me saying they wanted to know more. So I thought I'd do a YouTube video then just showing you exactly how it works. But before we get into the video then, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video. All you've got to do then is simply like the video and leave a comment down below. And then if you commented on my previous video yesterday, then make sure you stay tuned to the end where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So in essence then the way this method works is we, you've probably heard me say it before in fact on previous videos that the best way to be successful at anything in life is to find somebody who's already doing it successfully and learn from them, see what they're doing, learn from their mistakes, what products they're selling if you're in e-com for example. Um, and Pablo Picasso did once say that good copies, that good artists copy and great artists steal. So if he says it, then it must be true. So the way this strategy works then is you're gonna use Facebook to find other dropshipping companies, see what products they're selling, find the products on Facebook that have a lot of engagement, look at what kind of engagement they're getting, and then we're gonna put them into a list, and then this is like a list that we can work through one by one, do our individual research for each product, and then we can decide then which ones are essentially the best ones um, to essentially put some time and some money into when it comes to marketing. So just to kind of show you how it works, this is a completely separate Facebook account, by the way. This is one I completely set up purely just for product research. Anybody can do it, just set up a unique email address. It's completely free with Gmail. Um, I think my email address is like jackecom at gmail.com. Use that to set up a Facebook account like so. As you can see, I've called Jack Ecom. And all I've done then, I'll show you how to do it, is I started with Blue Crate. Um, so if I just find Blue Crate on here, you can see I've already liked it, but what I'm gonna show you is this is how you find other dropshipping companies that are similar to Blue Crate. So Blue Crate is like one of the biggest at the moment. You've probably already heard of them, but if you haven't, no worries. Um, I'm just gonna unlike it to demonstrate how it works. And I refresh the page. So there's a couple of things you can do. Number one is on this right hand side, you can see it gives you like three related pages, but I find that the pages in there are usually quite random. So on the tools, obviously, um, isn't really a drop shipping company, well, it's not at all, is they're not gonna be posting the kind of products we're interested in. So if you just click the like button, it's gonna suggest some more pages, but it comes up with the same similar ones that aren't really that good, but it gives you more options. So you can scroll across, and these are all the kind of ones that we wanna open, but an easier way to do it then is if you just click see more suggestions, it's gonna open up loads of pages similar to Blue Crate, and it's also gonna tell us as well how many likes each page has. And if we can, we wanna try and stick to liking pages that have over 5,000 likes. That way, their posts will have a bit more engagement, and then that way we'll be able to tell that bit easier if the products um, are winning products, essentially. So what you can do then is simply just open all these up into new tabs, obviously stick to the ones that sound kind of like stores that are selling something, so hype bargains. Obviously it sounds like people are selling things. And then another thing you can do as well is if you just click on top suggestions over in the top left, it's gonna give you kind of like, I say, well, essentially Facebook's top suggestions, and this is tends to be where I find like the most similar pages, similar to the original one you're looking at. So JP Crate and all I would simply do then is simply work through each and every one of these and look at what kind of content they're posting. Are they posting products that look like they come from AliExpress? I'm gonna look at their info and ads, see if they're selling any products. They're not, they're not very good, so I'm not gonna like that page. Moving on to HiGo then. Um, again, just gonna do the same thing for each and every one. And you can see this that looks, that kind of has AliExpress written all over it. So this might be potentially a page I wanna look at. Um, but looking at things, they seem to post quite a lot of like viral content. So again, they're probably not the ideal page we wanna be going after. And I'll simply just do this then for each and every page, just until I find one that's posting the kind of things that I want to come up on my newsfeed. So going back to my newsfeed then, just to show you how it works, um, I'll simply scroll through, wait until I see a product that essentially captures my attention. So best gadgets, um, Again, it kind of has drop shipping, that kind of essence written all over it. And something that catches my eye, the chances are it's gonna catch your customer's eye as well. So this is where we begin our research. I'm just gonna leave that one for now because I'm not really sure what it is. 
um, amplify your phone don't really like that don't really like that and then we've got some like rubber plate things and as you can see there's quite a lot of like rubbish pretty much on my newsfeed so what you want to do is when you're doing this research you just click on these three dots here go and hide post see if you're a post like this and what it's going to do is is over time it's going to tell facebook like which what kind of posts you want to see essentially so it's only going to show you more and more products and once you've done it enough then essentially you the high you'll have a higher percentage of actual content on your newsfeed that is relevant to you so here's a pretty interesting looking ad it looks like some sort of like fruit slicer or grape cutter i think um, and that's just a kind of kitchen gadget that has aliexpress written all over it now this is where we have to start doing a bit more digging because as you can see there's not there's hardly any engagement on this at all and the only way to tell if a product is worth our time or not is to look at the engagement and see essentially what people are saying so what we would do then is because we've found the product we would then search for this product within facebook to try and find the posts that have the most engagement so it's a grape cutter so if we just head over let's just open up a new page in fact no, let's just put it in here Grape cutter, I'm gonna click on posts, and this is essentially gonna give us all the posts and that have the words grape cutter in. And as you can see, the very first one, in fact, it's from the it's from the same company. This is probably the ad they're pushing, in fact, or the post they've been pushing. And as you can see, these ones have a lot more engagement. So we've got a better idea now of finding out whether there is actually a demand for this product. So we'll just open up the comments. Engagement simply standalone is not enough we need to look deeper than that and actually look at what people are saying about it so first things first there's a person here that has said we have this and it's awesome it takes me so much less time to cut cut, cut my grapes for my lo little one um so straight away there's intent i need this so this is actually a pretty good product actually um there's a lot of people on here saying that they would buy this um just cut my strawberries for breakfast this would be so much easier so you can see there's a lot of i have this and it's wonderful so this this is the exact thing that you are looking for so i was just thinking that give me a link and one thing to highlight in this as well is that you can see the actual company are responding to pretty much every single comment and posting a link to the product and this will significantly increase the traffic to your sites i 100 percent you recommend that you do this on every single ad every time somebody comments make sure you get back to them this is a great thing in a customer's eyes because to you you look like an active company that cares about your customers so striking up conversation you don't just have to post links to your product um, that will increase the amount of traffic that goes to your product page but simply interacting with people on your post is a good thing like if you it's just it will just look good in your customers eyes because you're building relationship you're building rapport and people prefer to buy from people that they like essentially so this looks like a really good product then there's a lot of intent from people there there's even people on here saying they've bought the product as well so what i would do now is click on these three dots here and i would save the video and what that's going to do then is it saves it to my list of saved videos so if i just go back to my home page click on this see more and there should be like a save section we have saved here and as you can see i've got like eventually when you start going through your newsfeed and doing your research building up lists and lists and lists of potential products that i then want to delve even deeper into so as you can see i've got loads of different ones um, i can open them up go back to the exact ones and what you can do as well is if you put it on your list say today you can check back in a week's time and see what kind of level of engagement if you take a note of how many comments it has or likes or whatever if it goes up quite a lot then you know that that particular company is putting a lot of money into that specific ad so it must be making them some money so another little tip or trick then that you can use is that you'll see a lot of people using these short urls to keep their ads looking neat and tidy and yes you should always use it on your ads because it takes up less space you've got more information then you can put in your ad copy but what you can do then to essentially see how popular a product is so we can see this is obviously a pretty big post because it's got 10,000 engagements, two and a half thousand comments. So if we just copy the short URL, we'll put it in our URL bar and I'm just gonna put a plus sign on the end of it. 
And if I hit enter, it's gonna tell me how many clicks that actual ad has had. And again, that's gonna be a great indicator of how actually popular this product is. And now what we do then is we go back to the ad, if I can find it. Um, if we click on the link, I'm just gonna stick it over here so it's a bit more tidy. We can see that this product is 15 pounds. If we take like an e-com average conversion rate um, for a product that's probably 15 pound, you're probably looking at about 5%, as long as they're driving pretty decent traffic, which they are, I would guess, then you're looking at about 5% conversion rate. So if we just do some quick maths on that, it will tell us approximately how much revenue this product has generated for them. So we've got 15 pounds, um, 20,000 clicks. So if we go, Let's go for exact numbers. So 19319. And if we go for a 0 0.05 conversion rate. So they're looking at approximately a thousand orders or 965 to be exact. Times that by the 1495 sale price. So that particular product then has generated nearly 15,000 pounds in revenue, which isn't too bad. Pretty good for a little like clean and sweeper there. So you know then it gives you like a pretty solid idea of whether there's actually a demand for particular products. And you can do this for every single product. And like I said, you just go through your newsfeed each and every time. And as you go through, there's gonna be a lot of rubbish. Make sure you just tell Facebook that you don't wanna see posts like that. And as you start, the more and more you do that, then the more and more you'll start seeing content that you wanna see. And you'll start coming across products like this that you can then start delving in deeper to. And there's a million other ways you can go. So um, I know for a start that this store here is a pretty good store to follow. Um, when you find a product, when you find a post that has quite a lot of engagement, then you can go to their actual shop as well and then search through their newsfeed as well because the chances are if they've got like one particular product that's performing well, like this one, 6 million views, 12,000 shares, then chances are they'll have other viral products as well that you can then again do even further research into. Um, but I'm not gonna go through that tactic just because I don't wanna make the videos too long. Um, but it's dead simple to do. So you, we could have a look at their info and ads, see if they're pushing any particular products. So they've got this waterproof speaker, um, probably called like a shower speaker. So again, we can just put that into our search bar and look for the posts then that essentially have the most comments, have the most engagements. And they're gonna be the ones then that give us the better idea of whether people actually want this or not. So if we just open up the comment section, and see if we've got any actual evidence of people buying it or people saying they actually want it. So there's a lot of people commenting, like having a good time in the comment section, but ordered mine six weeks ago, still waiting for it, and that's not a good sign. So although it shows that somebody's ordered it, obviously these guys just aren't providing very good service. Um, and it's so and so on and so on. So you get the gist. You just keep going through, looking at the comments, and you want to try and find intent and demand for the product. That is what is key. Simply people tagging each other isn't really enough. Yes, it's a good thing because we're advertising on a social media platform, so it's going to spread the word of the product, and we're going to get more eyes on for free. But unless you've got actual intent and demand and evidence that people are buying it or want it, then that is essentially what we want to look for because that is what's going to solidify that as a as an actual wor worthwhile product. So that being said, then guys, I think I've just covered everything that I plan to in this video. Um, I'm going to wrap the video up there. If you guys are still watching, then thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy the video, then please do make sure you leave a like, leave a comment as well if you want to be entered into the draw for the free one-to-one -one call. And that being said then, let's get into the announcing the winner from the previous video. So here we are then on the previous video. I'm just going to take the URL, um, head over to our random comment picker, get YouTube comments, um, click start then, see who's going to be the winner of the free one-to-one -one call. So the winner is Giorgio. Thanks for the nice content, Jack. Thank you very much. You are the winner of today's one-to-one -one call. Make sure you reach out then um, in the comment section down below or hit me up on one of my social medias. All the links are in the video description down below and then we can get that call arranged. So that being said, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for daily videos. I am going to start uploading daily videos now. So if that is something you want to be part of, uh, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video tomorrow then.